everyone, I'm Steve and I'm Paul. And we're here to discuss about the use of Wi-Fi. I'm sure you've all heard about it. Yeah, we use Wi-Fi in our school to connect to the internet. Mm, very convenient. But aside from this, Wi-Fi can also be used as a wireless alternative to local area networks without the use of additional routers and cables. Yes, and in addition to that, we can do file sharing and internet connection sharing and we can also um, play our favorite LAN games using this. And for more information about Wi-Fi, please visit our website at www.wififornewbies.blogspot.com This type of connection is formally called a mobile ad hoc network. And that's what why we are here today. Um, we are going to teach you how to set up your own ad hoc network. Setting up a mobile ad hoc wireless network for Windows XP. To begin by clicking the start button, navigate your way to connect to, and then click set up a connection or network. Highlight set up a wireless ad hoc network. Press next. As you can see here, the range of our network is 30 feet. Press next. Indicate the network name. You can put anything. And choose a security type. You have the option of not putting, but it's advisable to put one. You can use the web key if you're expecting Windows XP users to connect and the password should be exactly 5 or 13 characters and then you can also choose the WPA2 personal if you're only expecting Windows Vista users to connect and the password should be 8 to 63 characters then save the network press next We have created the network and we have the option of sharing an already existing internet connection. We would like to do that and then continue. I want to share my Biontel DSL. Press next. And there you have set up an ad hoc network with shared internet to verify it go to connect to this is the network um, you can provide the password to the connecting computer or laptop and they would be able to connect to your network so there you have it your own wireless ad hoc network by the way wireless ad hoc networks are not limited to just two computers you can have three or more But be just cautious of the fact that additional components could result in lower connections. So, see you next time everyone. Bye. Bye.